Hello, Willard Wildcats. You are thinking about where we are in place and time. You are thinking about how transportation has changed over time. You are thinking about how technology has changed over time. I want to share with you another thing that has changed over time, how we listen to music. Today, if I want to listen to a song, I just take out my phone, choose the music, and turn it on. I can hear almost anything I want anywhere I am. But how we have listened to music has changed a lot over time. Before we had phones, we used a lot of CDs or tapes or records. And the earliest records were played on a machine called a Victrola. Now, I happen to have an old Victrola at my house, and I want to share it with you. I want to show you how it works. First, let me share some photos with you. So this is what the Victrola looks like, but there's a lid, and when you open up the lid, this is the part that plays music. So there's a, a flat round part that a record is going to go on, that a Victrola record is going to go on. And then there's some other parts that are going to unfold um, and that's where the needle is going to be. When you look at the front of the Victrola, there's two cabinets, there's two places with handles and they open up. The top one is a speaker. That's where the sound comes out. And the bottom one is just for storage. It's where you can store all the records. So what does a Victrola record look like? Well, there's one there on the stand. And when I take it out, it has a paper wrapper around it. It has a paper sleeve that it sits in to protect it because they're very fragile. They can get scratched very easily. When you take the record out of the sleeve, this is what it looks like. It looks very similar to any other kind of record that you might have seen. Vinyl records have the same shape, but they're a lot lighter and a lot more information can be stored on them. If you look up close, there are lots of tiny grooves. You can just see them here, but I used a close-up lens to take a picture, and now you can see all of these, well, they look like lines on the record, but they're not lines, they're grooves. They've been cut down into the record itself. There is actually only one groove that spirals around and around and around the record. When you play the record, a needle sits in the groove and the record spins underneath it. The groove is not smooth, it is bumpy. And as the needle bumps around in the groove, it vibrates. The vibrations make sound and that is what we hear. So, now this is the Victrola again. I have not put the record on yet, but there's a little silver spot right on the outside. That little silver um, hole there is where a crank is going to go in because Victrolas are so old, they were used by people before people had electricity in their homes. And so you needed to be able to use a Victrola with zero electricity. You couldn't just plug it in. So a, a handle goes in here and you turn the handle to crank the Victrola to be able to play it. Now I'm going to share a video of me playing a record on this Victrola.
So that is how the Victrola works, but what is actually making the sound? How does it actually make sound that we can hear? Well, it makes sound the same way any sound is made. Sound is made by vibrations. In my next video that I'm going to share with you, I'm going to show you what a vibration is and how they make sounds, how we can hear the vibrations. See you next time.